Cross on his new series on IFC, his new series on Fox, this survey that shows that 53% of Protestants don't know the name of the guy who started Protestantism and about our fantasy baseball league. That's next, but first, get out your pitchforks and torches. Time for tonight's worst persons in the world, the bronze, to thieves still on the run in or around Wichita, Kansas, after they knocked off a little Debbie snack cakes delivery truck. It was jacked from outside a store at four in the morning. The truck has been found partially submerged in a canal with a trail of empty boxes and empty cookie wrappers leading back through the woods to the highway. So be on the lookout for Hansel and Gretel. Our runner-up, Britt Hume of Fox Pack, mumbles, announcing during one of their pretend news shows that although the experts have now determined that the recession ended in June of 2009, quote, almost none of the stimulus money had gone out the door, so the recession ended more or less on its own. $93 billion. The Council of Economic Advisors reported that by the end of June of 2009, $93 billion in stimulus money had already gone out the back of the door to states or in government contracts or in tax relief to small businesses and individuals. In fact, the chief economist at Moody's told the L.A. Times that June 2009 was the point at which stimulus spending was at its maximum. Almost none? $93 billion. Britt Hume just makes this stuff up. Perfect for Fox Pack. And people still call him a journalist. But our winner, Sharon Angle, the radical Republican Tea Party candidate for the Senate in Nevada. You heard her plans to phase out Social Security and Medicare and her complaints about how she has to pay for other women's maternity leave and how states have to pay for kids with air quotes, autism and air quote. They were her air quotes. And she, you've heard her talk about how Harry Reid is a socialist or an anarchist or an archivist or whatever he is. Turns out Sharon Angle gets government health care insurance. Her husband is retired from the Federal Bureau of Land Management, so he gets the same federal employee health program insurance he got while he worked there. And it covers his wife, Sharon, as does his pension, paid for by contributions made by current civil service employees. It's the civil service government equivalent of Social Security. So the next time she whines about ending this or relieving Nevada of the burden of that, let's see her start by cutting off that socialist insurance she gets. Her insurance that you and I pay for. Sharon Angle, hypocrite, today's worst person in the world. Yes, I'm the great pretender. Just like.